why we decided to change protocol and move the stickers, buy a better safe. A local auto shop changing its security protocols after thieves broke in to try to steal inspection stickers. Channel 11 News reporter Jillian Hartman live along McKnight Road tonight for us. And Jillian, that man's business, not the only one targeted. Yeah, that's right, David. So we just learned three auto repair shops were burglarized all on the same night, including the Jiffy Lube right behind me here on McKnight Road. And police tell me that the suspects stole inspection stickers to sell on the black market. Right now, Ross Township Police are looking for whoever stole inspection stickers at local auto repair shops over the weekend. Detective Sergeant Brian Kolhep tells me someone broke into the Midas and Jiffy Loop on McKnight Road Saturday night and at both shops pried open the lockbox containing the inspection stickers and stole them. They tried to do the same thing at the Meineke on Babcock Boulevard. Today, the owner, Bob Hollinger, told us what happened. Dismantled the meter off the wall on the side of the building so there was no power in the building and cut all the communication lines so that the alarm system couldn't notify anyone. Hollinger says the suspects then smashed the garage door windows, which have since been repaired, and then used the shop's pry bars to try to break into the safe. And they proceeded to take our tools and try to pry open the door, which they were successful, and then pry open the safe, which they were unsuccessful. Hollinger showed us the damage to both the door and the safe. He's glad they did not get away with any stickers. It's been a very long time since stickers were this hot of a commodity, but obviously something's going on that these guys feel that, you know, they have a market for them. Police tell me the suspects stole the inspection stickers so they could sell them to people on the black market who don't want to get their car inspected. Right now, police are trying to track down the serial numbers on the stolen stickers. Meanwhile, Hollinger is securing his shop even more. This is why we decided to change protocol and move the stickers, buy a better safe, mount it in different manners, and just to try and make them more secure than we already had them. Now, police tell me other auto repair shops in the county were also hit on the same night, but cannot share more details at this time. And we also don't know at this time if this involved one or more suspects. Now, right now, police are reaching out to several local departments to see if the same crime was recently committed in their area. Reporting live tonight in Ross Township, I'm Jillian Hartman, Channel.